Hi everyone. Harper and I were just exploring this really cool new toy. She loves to feel how bumpy it is. We all know that babies are inquisitive little beings and the way that they explore their world is through their five senses. And research has shown that sensory play builds nerve connections in babies' brains and that helps for their higher learning. And sensory play doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. So today, we're just going to use some loose parts, some things that you may have around the house already, or items from the dollar store, and we're gonna make a really cool sensory hoop that you can use with your baby. Now these hoops are great for babies who are between three and six months of age, and for those babies who aren't really liking tummy time too much, this might just make it a little bit more fun for them. So look around your house and see what you have. I have a variety of loose parts here, some scarves, I have um, a little duster, and some uh, measuring spoons, and I also found some really nice burlap, and um, a bath scrunchie, and again, things that you might just have around the house or at the dollar store. It doesn't really have to be a lot of things, and you can put as many things as you want on the hoop. Now, as you see here, I've already added some really nice burlap because that adds some texture. And this is just a pot scrunchie from the dollar store that I've just put a, a hole through. And then this little thing here, this little bumblebee was just a little um, part of a um, mobile that we had here at the center. You do not have to wrap the scarf around if you don't want to. You can just tie your items on. Um, if you've got some really, really strong string, um, you can tie them on. The one thing you wanna make sure though is any items that you're choosing, make sure that there's no parts on them that can come off because we don't want baby um, to choke. And make sure when you're tying them that you're tying them on really, really tightly. You can also add things on with your zip ties. So for example, I have my bells here that are tied on with zip ties. Just make sure that if you are using the zip ties that you're cutting them off and making sure that there's no sharp, um, like sharp edges for baby. So then you wanna just take your scarf and you just wanna start wrapping it around. If you have yarn, um, you can. Like, um, but like I say, you don't have to have any um, thing to wrap around. You can just add the items. So I'm just gonna start wrapping my scarf around and then I think I'm going to add my bath scrunchie to this one. So I'm just going to pull it through and wrap it again around and then again, you wanna make sure that it's attached securely. So make sure that you're just tying it up a little bit getting kind of stuck in here but there we go we're just going to pull it and we're just going to make sure that it's on there really nice and secure and then you can just keep going around and you can add on whatever it is that you have uh, you might want to add on your um, measuring spoon so again you would just pull this through and then tie it on This makes a really, really great sensory toy because you want to really make sure that you're using um, items that have lots of different textures, lots of different colors to make it a fun sensory experience for baby. And you can just keep going all around. And then I have just a nice soft cloth here. And I'm going to take my zip tie and just put the zip tie through it and attach it. The zip ties can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Pull it through and then again, make sure that you're taking your scissors and cutting it off so that there's no sharp edges. And then once you're finished that, you can just lay it on the ground. Make sure all of your items are in the middle so that baby can reach them. Put baby in the middle and let them engage in some really fun sensory play. 
and get down on the floor with them. Play with them, engage with them, talk to them about the different items and the different textures that are on the hoop, and always, always remember to supervise your child while they're playing. I hope that you have fun together and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.